My name is uh, Dr. Joanne Garinzer, and I'm the executive director of the Eden 2 programs. Um, I've been here for 32 years, and this building really is the culmination of a dream that we've had for a long time. We always knew we needed more space because uh, the program has grown so much over the last 30 years. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do, obviously, with the fact that autism has become such a high incident disorder. And so about 10 years ago, we began looking for space. Uh, we located this building here in beautiful Stapleton um, and began to make plans for the building. Uh, the, the original plans were really, it was gonna be a traditional school building for our teenagers and young adults. At our organization, um, we have a, a, an auction where we auction off an evening, um, 24 hours with me, and I take your child with autism for 24 hours. So I took a young man uh, who I'd known for a long time uh, home with me, and the, the rule is that I tell the parents I'm gonna take him and do whatever I would normally do uh, for the 24 hours. So we went for a walk and in the park, and I realized that he couldn't walk without me holding his arm because otherwise he would walk into traffic or whatever. Um, and then when we went out to dinner, he really had a hard time using his utensils properly. He couldn't cut his food. Um, his food was really getting, um, it was very messy. Um, when I got home that night, uh, I asked him to get ready for bed and he really didn't, wasn't very independent at taking off his clothes. When he got in the shower, it was obvious to me that he was completely dependent on somebody else showering him. I was struggling with this because he's 16 years old and been in our program for over 10 years. The next day I went into the classroom and I looked at his individualized education plan and I saw no goals on independent showering, no goals on using his utensils. The goals were more traditional goals like being able to discriminate community helpers and uh, colors and things like that, all worthwhile goals, but certainly not worthwhile if you're 16 years old with autism and you're unable to cut your food, take a shower, or cross the street independently. So we went back and I redesigned this entire building. I decided that part of the reason why the goals were not okay for this young man was that there was not a setting that would allow the teachers to work on these things. They couldn't work on showering because we didn't have a shower. Um, they couldn't really work on cooking and being independent in dressing because we just didn't have the right environment. My, my feeling is if you have a classroom with desks and tables and chairs, then that's where you'll do your work. Teachers will teach at tables and chairs if that's all they have available to them. So this building really is what I believe and, and what we here at Eden do believe is what should be available for teenagers, especially teenagers uh, with significant autism, because in order for them to truly be independent when they turn 21, they need to work on these things for a long time. Um, you know, all of the funding that a young man or woman with autism gets is prior to 21. After 21, all bets are off. You don't know what kind of funding you're gonna get. So it is our responsibility as an education program to make sure that we're giving these young men and women all the skills that they need in order to be independent, successful adults. The real world, you all, I'm sure, have experienced walking into a, a, a ladies' room or a men's room in a restaurant and not know how to turn the water on. Uh, because it's different than what you're used to. So we want our kids to have all of those experiences. We want them to be able to be independent at home. So we have two classrooms that are apartment style classrooms. So the classroom looks and is a real apartment. There's a bedroom, there's a living room, there's a dining room, there's a bathroom that has a full-size shower. This environment will offer us no excuses. These young men and women, when they turn 21, will know how to shower themselves. They will know how to prepare a meal. They will know how to use their utensils and, and cut their food and eat independently. I don't care how challenged they are with their autism. If we have 10 years, we're gonna use those 10 years to make sure these young men and women are capable of being independent adults. We wanna make sure that everything in this building 
has a long-term purpose, has the ability to transfer to something in the community. We think it's going to be a model for the type of services that adolescents and young adults with autism need. We have to do something to better prepare our young men and women with autism to live in the world with the kinds of funding models that are gonna be out there. Um, so this is what we believe is necessary to ensure that they're gonna have the highest quality of life. Um, and the other thing that we think is really important is that we are in a community that is very open to having our young men and women be part of that community.